Hey everyone and I'm back with another time lapse painting and today I'm going to be painting Bella the Papillon. I'm going to be using my usual acrylics on Fabriano Artistico hot press at 300 pound weight and it's approximately it's A4 size but because of the shape of Bella's profile I've decided to square it off because the usual rectangle shape just wouldn't have suited her with her ears and things like that, making her quite tall and wide at the same time. If I were to fit her on a, a normal A4 format, you'd get a lot of space above and below her, so I've just made it a bit wider and then made it a bit less tall and squared it off so that she fits in it a lot more nicely. As per usual, I'm working up in layers. Everyone does this differently when they're working. I was watching a video yesterday where somebody starts on their eyes. Don't put any other layers on, they just start on eyes, working in acrylic. And they said that's how they, they do things. But I work up in layers and I just do the blocking in layer, then the modelling layers, and then the final detail layers. In years gone by, I did used to work in a completely different way. I used to work in sections. So I'd start on one little area and, and do that, layer it up, get it finished, and then I'd move on to another little area, sort of like a patchwork quilt. And people used to ask me how I managed to do it and it not look like a patchwork quilt, how I used to get the, managed to get the colours to match and everything on the little new sections that I did. And to be honest, I, I couldn't tell you, I just got on with it and did it, but over time I just switched to doing it this way because it, it's quicker, to be honest. I just find it a lot faster and a lot easier, a lot less messing about. When I get to the detail layer, I do start focusing on one area at a time and I tend to start on the nose and then just radiate out of it, rest at face and what have you and then do the ears and round edges at face and then move on to neck and chest and that kind of thing if depending on how much is actually showing in this particular portrait in this one is it's not really that much it's just some hair that comes down on front of neck onto chest and then that's it it stops there weren't really much more showing in reference photo to be honest and because Bella's passed away they weren't able to get any more reference photos either so just had to use what she had client that had this painting done, she's had a couple of paintings done before for herself. She had this one done for her mum because Bella were a mum's dog. And she's also back on my list for another painting of one of her own dogs as well. So I'll be doing another painting for her in months to come. You tend to find as a pet portrait artist, a lot of your work comes from repeat clients. If I didn't have these repeat clients keep coming back for more works, I don't think I'd be able to actually make it as an artist. I mean, pretty much all the works that I've been doing of late are repeat clients. So getting any new client when you're a pet portrait artist is particularly valuable because they might potentially end up another repeat client. And also most of your new clients come as a result of your previous clients as well. Things have been a lot quieter for me within the last few weeks compared to this time last year which were actually quite busy in comparison. I think everyone's worrying about the cost of living and what have you and winter coming up and energy prices and all that kind of thing. Which is not great for me. I'm trying to encourage people to start ordering for Christmas now because what they tend to do is all wait until like middle of November and then they all descend on me at once and then by December I'm completely booked up and I'm having to turn people away and I'm losing out on work when I could have fitted a lot of these people in earlier if they'd have just come a bit earlier like October or something like that I could have got something done for everybody but everybody waits till last minute and it's really frustrating just wish people had start coming a bit earlier I have started doing some Christmas orders already but I wish more people had come now because I know they're all going to wait until the last minute and then all descend on me at once. But moving away from commissions, I have managed to get the YouTube channel monetized. 
I'm currently just working towards me $100 threshold before they actually start paying me and it won't be a lot but it is a start and then I'll have some a little bit extra and then I'll start to be able to think about moving away from commissions more and more and drawing and painting things that I want to do instead of just doing commissions so it's just a little step in the right direction and I'd be able to start when I start getting paid for some advertents I can start putting some of that back into my channel and making it a little bit better quality as well. Spend more time doing tutorials and have more to upload. Speaking of tutorials, if there's any parts of this painting that you'd like to see me do a tutorial on, just let me know and then uh, in comments and I'll see about doing one. I'm going to be doing one for me last painting next I think, which is uh, long shiny black fur so that's something to keep an eye out for. I've been thinking about doing one for all this long hair on Bella's ears and the different clumps of hairs that are crossing over each other so they're going in different directions but, but as you can see I didn't really have a methodical way of doing it in this painting. I painted clumps of hair in and then painted on top of them and then painted them back on and things like that. I think because it just helped me to remember where the clumps of hair were that basically I probably would have been better just painting them on afterwards at end but I painted them on sooner just to just to block them in, map them in so to speak and then when I were doing the air that goes underneath them I just sort of smudged over edges of them and things like that and, and then when I'd done the air underneath I went back over the top with that and to make it look like it were in front of the air that were underneath. So I'm coming towards the end of this painting now and like in my last video I'm going to do a final reveal with various different views and what have you and close-ups and what have you at end so I'll let you sit and enjoy that. In the meantime it'd be brilliant if you could give me a video a like and if you've got any ideas about tutorials or any requests from this painting or any others then be sure to mention them in comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!